Hotel Cracker Barrel. So we picked this area because it has the Cracker Barrel and it looks like it has RV parking. Uh, there's everything here. Uh, Applebee's, Red Lobster, Pizza. It's got the uh, Waffle House for tomorrow morning. It's got Krispy Kreme somewhere around here. One of my favorite restaurants coming down to the States. Let me know what you love about the Cracker Barrel. So this is uh, RV and bus, and I consider us an RV. Our van is definitely too long for a regular parking spot. Sorry about the lighting, but. RV bus parking. I think we'll be able to sit anywhere. No waiting in line. What time is it? 720. So if you want to not wait in line, so by the wind, if you don't want to wait in line, come at 720. Ooh, they're gonna start serving beer. The application's in. Make your vote. Oh, I love the store. Ooh, big chocolate bars. A big fireplace in the winter time. It's awesome. Thank you. Check out the drink menu that they have on the table, plus desserts and uh, barrel bites. They got these lattes, caramel latte, vanilla latte, signature hot chocolate. Of course, their signature iced teas. But I'm here for some grub. Home style chicken and French toast. Chicken and French toast, nice. Buffalo buttered ranch. My goodness. This is like their super specials or something. Look at all that food. This is the menu I'm used to. It's this paper one. Breakfast all day, barrel bites, kids menu. Down, home, daily deals. Cracker Barrel favorites. I think I'm gonna do my favorite, which is the chicken sandwich. Let's we'll see if they'll make it for me. Hey guys, how you doing? Today? All right, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. I'm back here with your server. Hey, I can Becky. do something to drink, or you guys ready to order? Could I have some lemonade? Lemonade, you got it. I'm just gonna do a water for now, thanks. Okay. Well, we were hoping that you could do something special for us. Let's try. Okay. <laughs> so. We kind of like the, well, we really like the sourdough bread. Okay. Sure. And then chicken, grilled chicken tenders. Okay. With the lettuce and the tomato. And uh, you guys have like those steak fries. Okay, so two fried chicken sandwiches, sourdough bread that's grilled, lettuce, tomato, and mayo for each of you with french fries. You nailed it. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Fantastic. They look as good as they used to. Yeah. Was it a topic of conversation in the kitchen or <laughs> who ordered that? I had to get I had to get the tomato and lettuce on there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Not too bad, not too bad. Look at that. Alright guys, do you need anything else right now? Oh that's great. Look at that. Perfection. Yay! Sourdough sandwiches and chicken. Unbelievable. That's exactly how they used to do it. Uh, it looks like they did one big piece of chicken. Uh, back in the day, they would do, they called them chicken chicken tenderloins, which chickens don't, I don't believe, have tenderloins, but uh, they do like chicken fingers, and they were fantastic. And all those big steak fries. That's a bad idea. How much lettuce you put on there? Oh my. The bottom's hot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost lost it. So yeah, they just did one big piece of chicken. Oh one my. Old chicken breast. Wow. Yeah. And they grilled both sides. Nice. Mayo. That's that. awesome. Poor girl has to wait until I take a bite. Well, like you said, it's too hot. Probably. She's like... She's planning ahead. She's like, let him burn his mouth. Okay. <laughs> that is fantastic. 
The sourdough is amazing. Greasy, the way I like it. I got the clean, clean plate award. Clean plate cup, good <laughs> job. Look at that, nice. <laughs> One of the fun things about, uh, again, going to a Cracker Barrel is looking around, buying things, clothing, bags, more clothing, and depending on where you are in the country, depends on what kind of swag they have, obviously Penn State and Pittsburgh stuff. Uh, but what I was looking in at, at and interested in is a Pennsylvania magnet. We'll put that in moose. That's all I need. I am going to put this right here for now. This is a metal fridge and we'll uh, collect them as we go. Obviously we're not using the fridge right now. We don't need to use it, but uh, we're gonna go for a walk and then we'll hit the hay. I forgot to show you guys something else that we just got. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where we put it. <laughs> Carol brought a shovel just in case. And we wanted the smallest shovel possible, and we still have a kid's shovel. There we go. Let's take this out, and uh, we'll show you what we bought. Hi. Hello. Let's open this thing up. All right. I've been dying to try this thing out. So it's from uh, the wonderful. I'm going to shut this door. There we go. And uh, basically, they're window coverings for the front windshield and both driver's and passenger's side. And uh, they block out light. And they also provide a little bit of insulation. And I, we, I had a knife down here. Did you move? The, I moved there it, it is. That's fine. Fall out when I opened the door. Okay. There we go. Don't get the paper cut. Nothing worse than the cardboard paper cut. It's really windy. The van is shaking. Oh my gosh. All right. So this gentleman, I believe, is out of Winnipeg area. And uh, he does van conversions. He also sells all this stuff. Uh, he also does a mosquito netting, which we're hoping to get. But uh, yeah, that's the guy and his dog and his van. Again, it's the uh, soft goods. Oh, Carol's already way ahead of me here. Ah, the one thing we're going to have to do is move our suction cup mounts for our phones. And then we're going to have to find a spot. What is this? I don't know. It might be the case that you can put it in. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Here, let's, we're going to do a, a side window. It'll be just easier to uh, throw it up right now. Nice. Very cool. So I'm going to get into the pat and the driver's side, and then you. I'm not sure if it says what side it is, or you just have to figure it out by the shape of it. And it's all magnets. So we're figuring there's like a kind of a, almost a flat black and then there's a pattern and a pattern goes on the inside you we think. think so we're gonna this is again our first time putting this up so go for it carol Let's oh neat see so you have to tell them what kind of van you have what yeah. kind of rig and there's so a little, why does it have this little notch? well maybe for so it's, it is snapping though, right? Yes. So again, first install is always a little bit. Oh. It's good to be tight because you, you, if yeah. you want, if you want to sleep in, and it's nice and uh, bright in the morning. Is not exact. Okay, it's just a little bit. Maybe put it on the other side of the. 
Perfect. Nice. And so, just kind of go around, making sure all the magnets are grabbing onto that metal. I can't wait to see how dark it is. And then we're going to sleep until 12 tomorrow. Yeah. So, we're going to have to take this off, unfortunately. This is like that super, super sticky stuff. It's a suction cup and stickiness. So we're thinking, possibly, I'm going to put mine here. Thank you. And then I'll have to, ow, <laughs> it bit me. Oh. There we go. So that'll be my new spot for my phone for, for navigation. Carol's put hers there just for now, because we're going to try to attempt to put up the uh, front windscreen. So we did one quick experiment and put this one on that side and that one on this side just because this has like a almost like a honeycomb look to it and and we did watch another video of another company that makes these and one side actually is reflective and the other side is black so this one has a little bit of a pattern and we're not sure if that goes on the inside or the outside because let could look down here for a sec this is the other pattern which there's no pattern at all and uh so we'll find out it just seems like when it's this pattern it sticks to the window really well so we're going to do the same thing over here so there's a top and a bottom and the top is where the split is there's a split here right here and that's going to go around the um rear view mirror that we don't use so and you know, there's some like rods and stuff in here that make it a little bit more rigid he just said put it down here, open it up. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Carol, let's do it that side for me, which is good. Put it all the way to the bottom, and he said, wrap this around. And then you need to fold these down, that helps. Can you shine the light here? I just want to see what I'm doing. Why it's not, oh, there we go. So we have our park pass and that's kind of in the way. So I'll put my park pass away for now. So the magnets can fit out around that perfectly. And then we'll do Carol's side, or actually Carol do her side. Push all the way down to the bottom and then use that. So it also has these little Yeah, hooks. we don't know what the hooks do. But, like, I don't know. That wasn't in the video, so it's no. something new. And it can be you know what? tightened. You know what? So Put this down. Might be fold this down and see, what, see if maybe it's in the right spot to... To hook on if it was yeah, the other way around. Yeah. Something. I don't know. Who we'll knows? figure that out. Yeah. So, yeah, and the magnets stick all the way around. We'll see in the morning how uh, much light it keeps out. Yeah. Like I said, I think we'll sleep in. So these are... Really cool, we bought them not too long ago. We've been looking forward to trying these and now we've tried them. Let the engine run for a little bit, get it a little bit more cozy in here and uh, had a great day. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys have an awesome city here in uh, Pittsburgh, in Pennsylvania. And uh, second, my second time here, glad to come back. Glad to eat a few restaurants I haven't been to in over three years. So um, it's time for bed to uh, get changed, set the mood lighting, watch a video or a TV show, and then we're off to bed. All right? Right. See you in the morning, guys. Bye. Bye.